God lies in his laws. Give me wisdom on five. Pick it up. It lies in his laws because now it's going to teach you to be a disciplined person. Right. When you go to the military, the, uh, the uh, drill sergeant is bringing discipline in your world. People that goes in the military come from all walks of life. They used to be drug dealers. They had their uh, crazy past. But in order to go fight a war, you have to be what? Disciplined. Right, right. In God's army, it's the same thing. That's right, right. Right. You cannot come and fight a war in God's army and not be disciplined. Right. Right. You can't come and serve God still getting high. Right. Right. You can't come and serve God still hoeing out your sisters. Right. Right. That's impossible. listening to me preaching about God should seek what? The law at his mouth. So according to God, my brothers, what is his knowledge? His what? His what? His laws. This is what we're disconnected from. And this is why we don't have wisdom. The wisdom of God lies in his laws. Give me wisdom one and five. It lies in his laws because now it's going to teach you to be a disciplined person. Right. When you go to the military, the, uh, the uh, drill sergeant is bringing discipline in your world. People that goes in the military come from all walks of life. They used to be drug dealers. They had their uh, crazy past. But in order to go fight a war, you have to be what? Disciplined. Right, right. In God's army, it's the same thing. That's right. Right. You yeah. cannot come and fight a war in God's army and not be disciplined. Right. You can't come and serve God still getting high. Right. Right. You can't come and serve God still hoeing out your sisters. Right. Right. That's impossible because that is not righteousness. There's no law of God that says hoeing is good. There's no law of God that says destroying your body is good. Right. Right. But guess what? In our communities, right, up and down, what do we see? Liquor stores. Why? To pacify the anger that you have in this society. Get them that weed. Get them crack. Get them cocaine. They need something to pacify them from the reality that we have caused. Right, right. What's the reality? Making us hate ourselves. Right. Because we see the white man as God. I love that. I never did that. All praises. So if you love us, you got to begin with yourself. Loving yourself is understand what God requires of you. If you can't get with that, you don't love yourself. Why? Because that was your creator. Read that. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Bring it out. Yeah. But the Holy Spirit of discipline. But the what? The Holy Spirit of discipline. Discipline is a spirit that's set apart. Not everybody's going to be disciplined. That's why in the military, they have to drill that discipline into you. What time to get up in the morning? How to stand up proper posture? How to crease and iron your clothes? You came from a world that you didn't do that. You woke up whatever time you want, you late for school, you late for work, because you're not a disciplined person. When the Holy Spirit of discipline come onto us, it's only because we started to fear God. Fear God how? By knowing that he has laws, and we have to ask the brothers. Remember, it says, you should seek the law out of my mouth. Now you brothers should be asking, well, bro, well, what laws are we not following? Are we to work? Huh? Are we to work? Of course you're supposed to work. You can do any work as long as you don't break God's Sabbath, which is today. We won't get to that. Which is today. Today's the Sabbath, and that's a law we gotta keep. And as long as we're not keeping that law, God is not gonna open your wisdom because you don't fear him to keep his law. And there's consequences. For example, in this society, no lewd behavior, no public urination, right? That's a law of the land. If you do that, what happens? 
you get a fine or you go to jail if you're a repeated offender, right? So the society sets up a law and he sets up judgment right along with it. Why do people think God is any different? God sets up laws and he has judgment. For anybody who don't follow his laws, there's a judgment. One of the judgment is that we will not be able to see the atrocities that we in. We will not be able to know what race of people we belong to. And that's a big problem. Where's your father from? Okay, so what would you say he was? What race of people? Black and Indian. All right, how about you, my brother? Where's your father from? Your pops is from Jamaica. Now, this society would call you Jamaican. This society would call you Black American. According to God, look at this sign here. What is your biblical name? Look from the top. The Black American is what? Judah. It's Judah. And so-called Jamaican is what? The tribe of Benjamin. You're not gonna get that understanding sitting in a Christianity church. Because their agenda is not to reveal to you who you are. Right. They have to keep you from knowing who you are. Because that's what's going to make them profit off of you as a slave mentally in this society. Right. Right. When the chains came off, the reason why the chains came off is because mental slavery was full and full, um, how could I say, in full works. You ever read the Willie Lynch letter? Yeah. The Willie Lynch letter was a letter to slave masters to keep them from control, teach them how to control their slaves. Exactly. So now it's important to know your identity. Once you know your identity, being a part of these tribes makes you a Jew. This book is written for the Israelites, who are the Jews. The people in Israel, they are Israelis. They can't call themselves Israelites because they know who the Israelites are, right? Think it was the 50th president of Egypt, Abdul Nazir Gabar, right? He's a president of Egypt. He knows the history of that region. He says there will never be peace in the East because the Jews left black and they came back white. Do the black man understand that history? When did the Jews leave Jerusalem? We don't know that. That was in 70 AD. Titus Vespasian conquered Jerusalem and sent our people in exile. You will not know this understanding if you don't come back to this book. That's right. And this is why the world is upset at us. Because what? The truth hurts. Read that. What you got? With the Solomon 1 and 5. Uh -huh. For the Holy Spirit of discipline uh -huh. will flee deceit. Deceit? Deceit now is what we've been taught. The Holy Spirit of discipline. Now, if you can di discipline yourself to keep the Sabbath day holy, that's one. If you can do that, it's going to build a spirit in you that you start picking up, yo, this ain't right. Hold up. These brothers have said Christ looked like that. And they said this image was created by Caesar. Uh, this was Caesar Borgia that was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. When we explain the depiction of Christ in the Bible, do you think it's gonna match up with this? It won't. So that's what, deceit. We had to get his description from the Bible in order to know, oh wow, this is deception. You understand what I'm saying? Read the scripture again. For the Holy Spirit uh -huh. of discipline uh -huh. will flee deceit uh -huh. and remove from thought that are without understanding. And remove from thoughts that are with, without understanding. Now, I'm gonna show you how that spirit is gonna start working, manifesting in you right now. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. If you understand, the fear of the Lord is the understanding. We haven't taught, we haven't been taught to fear the Lord, my brother. Right. We haven't been taught that. We've been taught to actually disobey and hate our creator. Because this society teaches us to do everything opposing to what God asks us to do. God would prefer when you sleep with a woman, you marry her. Does this society teach that? Everything is promiscuity. You find a woman, you sleep with her, you don't like her attitude, leave her. 
she pregnant, you go to Maury, nah, that ain't my baby, Maury. Embarrassing your nation in front of the world. Right. We can't even understand, we slept with a woman, we got her pregnant, we got her pregnant, impregnated, we should take care of that child. We don't even know that. That's against what God requires. That's another point we're gonna get to, read that. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. This yeah. is how you know if I'm wasting my breath to you, or if you really understanding what I'm telling you. But God do say his word don't go out void. That's right. Even if you don't get it now, we just planted the seed in you. We told you you are of the tribe of Benjamin. Now that's supposed to sink in your head, like what are these brothers thinking about? We live in a day, age of information. You could Google tribe of Benjamin, the Maroons, and see what connection it has to God's laws in the Bible. All right, read that. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. So what we're reading here is the order from heaven to earth. God sets order. This society, white man doesn't want us to have order. They want us to live in chaos. You understand? They want us to hate each other. They don't want us to respect the older ones in our community. They didn't teach us to do that because that's the same thing that Willie Lynch said. Right. Put the older slave against the younger slave. The lighter slave against the darker slave. Right. So this is systematic. This was created the way we behave towards each other. Correct. So now God is revealing to you there's an order that is set from heaven down to earth. What about, Read. What about the sun, the heart, the heart? One second, we're going to get to that. One second, go ahead. That the head of every man is Christ. That the head of every man is Christ. What does that mean? Who's your elder, your superior, you should look up to? Good. You agree? Yes. Agree. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. In this society, who wears the pants? They show you, they teach you women wear the pants. You know why? Because we as men have forgotten our discipline to serve the Lord and we can't control our women. Right. The white man knows that, guess what he does? He gives a better paying job than you. Right. So now, whoever makes more money wear the pants in the house. You can't tell her nothing. They got our men still with children mentality. Your wife is out there working, busting up behind two kids. You in a crib playing Madden. You playing Madden, you got the, the, the latest video games, uh, Xbox, whatever, PlayStation 5. That's what the men in this society is concerned with. Meanwhile, the woman is going out and making the money. Of course, this society can confuse you now and make you think, oh, it's 50-50. Or whoever has, uh, who makes the most money is actually gonna be the one that wear the pants. No, that's not according to God. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.